right, here I am in an Adobe Illustrator, and I can make shapes to laser cut in three basic ways. I'm gonna show you the first way, which is by combining simple or primitive shapes together. So here I've, I've already drawn a rectangle, okay? And let's say I wanted to make something that, I don't know, let's, a dog bone, okay? A dog bone, okay? So let's say um, I wanted to make a collar for a dog, and so I wanna make a dog bone. And what I do in my head is I think, okay, what are the primitive shapes that would make that up? And I'm imagining like a round end on both ends, but kind of like two round bumps on the end, and then a, like a, a stick in the middle. So here we go. Uh, there, I've already drawn my rectangle. So to draw another rectangle, I, I could just, whoop. there are two ways of doing it. So one way is just by doing this. But if I already know the exact dimensions I wanted for it, I can just click and then specify. Oh, I would like the width to be four inches and I would like the height to be one. And then I say, okay. So there I've got three different examples. To draw circles, I can click and hold on my rectangle and then choose ellipse. Okay, now whenever I draw it, it's going to be kind of like that shape, you know, uh, elliptical. If I want it to be perfectly round, or if I want something to be perfectly square, I hold shift while I do it. There you go. Some people remember. So there we go. There's one. Now, interestingly, if I just come up here and click a second time, th the numbers that come up in the box are exactly the numbers that were on this circle. So I say, okay. And I go here, and I say okay, and then I go here, and I say okay. There we go. And now I I can I can move them around and turn it into a dog bone. So here we go. So right now I need to combine them all. So I'm going to draw a box around everything, and I'm going to do this. So. The first thing I'm going to do is group them. Right now when I move these parts, they all move separately, so I need to group them together. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say object, group, and now they move together. So that's that first step. They're all one sort of stuck together shape. But you can see right now the the line, there's, we want to laser cut it out. We want to trace the outside of the dog's bone. So then we do this. I click it again and I do this. Effect, Pathfinder, and add. And now, when I click away, it's Whoa. sort of a dog bone shape, okay? Now I can see, I can see there's, if I zoom in here a little bit, I can see it's not great. I need to probably fix it because there's going to be some laser cutting happening right here, okay? Um, so that's one way to do it. Now, before it can laser cut, I have to specify on our laser anyway. It's different for different laser cutters. Uh, if you're ever experiencing, uh, or if you go to university, a lot of universities have laser cutters. A lot of lasers cut when they see the color red, but ours cuts when it sees a specific thickness, which is 0 0.001. This box right up here um, represents the thickness of the line or the stroke, it's called in Adobe. So you just change your stroke to 0 0.001, push return, and boom, okay, it becomes like a super thin line. So I can see anywhere I see that, it's gonna cut. So it's gonna cut around the end, and then around and around, and then it's gonna come here in the middle where I made a mistake and cut a little hole there, which I don't want. Would so I, do? I would just fix that. So there are a couple ways I can fix that. Over here, whenever I draw, it creates, and anytime I group things together, it, it creates a group over here. I can expand that like this, okay? So I can see it's, it's maybe really hard to see on the projector, but I can see each individual shape here. So what I can do is if I wanted to move, let's say I want to move this further in to get rid of that, I can get my black arrow and I just double click on the shape and then I double click it again and I just kind of keep double clicking it. And what happens over here is it goes from the layer to the group to the path. And I can just use my arrows on my keyboard to bring it in and then I go back out. So what I'm doing is I'm tunneling into my group so that I can make a change to that one shape and I go back, 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 back and then I fixed it. Okay, so that's that's the first way of making more complex shapes by combining primitive 